Hello and I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be talking you through this range that we currently have going on on Bitcoin and then explaining to you how I am currently trading Bitcoin. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and as well as that I'm going to be talking you through how I have been trading once again this range and has and as many have been saying I have traded this range the best in the world and that there is not another trader that has traded it better than myself. Uh, not my words, not that I do not agree with that, but nevertheless, make sure you have a pen and paper at hand because I'm going to be giving you a lot of free information in this video. So yeah, get ready to have some knowledge given to you right now. So the range that we have going on here, which again, has been an absolute masterclass. It's just been lovely, obviously, between our lower channel to the higher channel. Um, the last time that I gave you an update of the points that I gave, so this was the last public point that I gave, uh, point number 14, which was obviously a short off of the CME gap fill. And as I was saying, you know, normally <laughs> when I give a special point, it means a good trade. Did we get a good trade? Absolutely we did. So from that CME gap fill on the 14th of May, we can obviously see how we filled the gap here on this wick and then how I was expe expecting this then to then go was actually putting it in a range between our two bigger channels. So between the low, you know, high of our lower channel and the low of our higher channel, put in a range between these two. So I was envisioning this to go. How did it go? Obviously, we got the drop down <laughs> to the low and then we came back up to the high. But as we came back up to the high here, I want to talk you through what I was thinking. How did I trade this? You can probably guess, but what I was, you know, this is obviously in the champions group. I was actually yesterday selling some spot Bitcoin as we come back up into that channel, as well as starting off with a small short position. And in the end, that was from uh, 9,000 or the low of the channel, really simply 9,750. Obviously, in my average fill in the end was 9,870. So that's what I was looking at yesterday uh, when I was actually going through, um, you know, entering these initial short positions. Why was I entering another short yesterday as we were coming back up into the top of this range? As what many would argue was really strong with a quick move up into it. Okay. Basically, this is the thought process. So make some notes here. I'm going to read this out for you to fully emphasize my thought process. Okay. So markets tend to you know, markets trend and a trending market, we mean, you know, a, a clear upwards trend. So markets or, or downwards trend, obviously, but markets trend only 20% of the time. Failure to recognize this fact is one of the main reasons why a large number of traders do not make money, period. Okay, that, you know, in, you know, in my opinion, many of the most popular trading systems are trend following systems that require sustained price movements to be successful. OK, you have all heard this quote of the trend is your friend and it is, in my opinion, a, a misleading expression. OK, so during a trending market, a trader can make big profits if positioned with the trend, obviously. However, if a trader consistently or constantly employs a, a trend following system, his chances or her chances <laughs> of, a, of success during a ranged market are greatly reduced. And remember, we are range bound more than we are. Uh, trending. So that's a really important statistic to remember, referring to high time frames here, but you know, we're we're generally going sideways more than we're trending. So if you employ a trend following system, the majority of the time you can imagine that you're going to be losing money. So to successfully trade a ranged market, you need to learn how to identify the outer reaches of the range and then take profits instead of letting the profits ride. Knowing if a market is in a trend or a range is an integral part of market understanding and making money consistently. So what's my thought process here? As we approach the high of the range, which is obviously around here, 9,900 being the middle of the range, I was taking short positions. Why? Because instead of expecting a breakout, okay, many people, we saw millions, millions of people buying the highs here at market expecting a breakout. But I was shorting this level. So why? Well, si very simply, I'm recognizing the signs that we are likely to become range bound. And th this is not the time for the breakout to occur. Being able to recognize this signs is not just a feeling. It's actually you can see the data, look at footprint charts, look at the statistics, see, is this likely to break out? The answer, in my opinion anyway, was no. So I was shorting, obviously. Um, but what you can see here, 
it's after you know make sure you've made notes on this that how we range why we range and how you have to be able to adjust trading systems depending on whether you are in a strong trend okay because when bitcoin does begin to trend it trends but also then when you have uh, you know arguably gone into a sideways um reaccumulation or distribution range okay um so basically what we had here was really nice in the end we had our initial move you know obviously to the high that was the high of that day uh before a swift move to the downside here but uh, as i was kind of saying well I, as i did say yesterday on twitter uh, expecting a stop run to so take care this was obviously tweeted yesterday at you know last night just before kind of going to sleep and you know i was expecting this to take out the stops why okay so why was i expecting this stop run the answer is actually really, really simple. I was expecting this to take out the stops before coming back down because really simply London's, well, in my opinion, the way that I like to trade London closes as well as obviously the stock market is, is not 24 hours, but cryptocurrency is 24 hours. So we have um, the way that I like to trade, like in my opinion, a London session is that people throughout Europe OK, are going to have shorted this level, expecting the CME gap close, because we all know this happened at the minute the CME get opened. OK, the minute the CME opened, CME opened from 9,250 close, uh, obviously opening up at around uh, 9,700. Uh, originally, straight away, you had a big gap open. And then a really quick move to the downside that got people bearish that definitely got people bearish expecting this gap to be filled instantly as i kind of put on twitter yesterday it was also a bit funny that a little bit of a meme like these gaps do not have to get filled straight away so what i what my you know what my thought process was is that this is not going to be a good short a good time to short we will come back and take up the stops higher before the move down why because then everybody from europe that shorted this expecting the move down is going to have their stops above this high what do we want to do? We want to run their stops and then dump price. That's as, well, that's clearly exactly what happened here <laughs> uh, because we did get that move to the upside. We took the stops and then we come down and we filled price to that monthly level. Okay. As you can see here, this is an extract from the group that, you know, my champions group that I done yesterday. I moved my stop up to 10,129, simply making sure I was not going to get run by this high or this high. I wanted to protect myself from a stop loss uh, run, hunt, hunt run, because that's exactly what I was expecting. Again, you can pause the screen and read this because actually I'll read it out because why not? Just remember, 95% of the market have absolutely no idea why these moves are happening and, you know, uh, even here, while I'm giving it to you free information, obviously, again, this isn't not going to help you. Well, I guess it will. But, you know, you can clearly see how these market moves are happening. Pretty amazing insights, if I do say so myself. Like the way that these markets are moving, they're not random. Every point on this chart, every single point on this chart has bounced for a reason. OK, there's never a random pivot in the market. Everything is controlled. Everything is moving for a reason. OK. So you always have to remember that. And for me to like share these insights, I think is absolutely priceless. So why did we get that run yesterday? It was to stop out the early shorters of these shorts. You know, we saw a lot of shorts open. Just go and look at the statistics of net shorts. We saw a lot of shorts aggressively open as we got that move down. Why was it so easy? to take out these for a stop run or sit really simply price likes to go where the liquidity is we could take out that liquidity the highs run the lows and then how i'm actually i'm back into a, a into a sculpt long position at the moment so i am in a long right now but uh, nevertheless uh obviously that from that short that i took last night uh we can see well the, today basically as i was saying you know, hit my take profit too and that was simply coming down to this monthly level. So I think that was a brilliant way uh, that, that I've traded this, if I'm honest. OK, so really quick highlight. We went from the CME gap close to a resistance support flip to reclaiming the monthly. You can see the price action of the monthly final final little bit that you've done there was hit the monthly to, you know, almost the dollar before coming back up, running off the middle of the channel, coming back down, uh, people getting aggressively short as the CME opened, expecting an instant gap fill, run the stops of the people, uh, you know, with their stops either above this high or above this high. We also did take that high by uh, about $9. So that was just absolutely beautiful. Again, my stop was above this high to protect myself because I was expecting this. And then we come down, we fill down all of this price action and bounce off at a monthly level so i am in a in a in a long position at the moment um because yeah in my opinion it was really really nice quick move down run run the stops uh so i saw the opportunity and i did post this by the way in my group uh champions group i was take entering this into a swing um 
well, scope, sorry, scope, long position, I'm out of that short. So, uh, yeah, that was really, really nice trading indeed. And I guess I'll end you with a few last insights um, of how I'm expecting this to go. So, ultimately, what we have done here, okay, we've now ran this high, but there is still a lot of liquidity above this high. So, are, you know, it's arguably uh, now, are we going to actually come up and get our move to this weekly? I think if you can get back into this channel, then it's really, really likely indeed, okay? So, a few really key points are obviously still the low of your channel. If we manage to reclaim this channel, I see no reason why we cannot push up much higher. Uh, alternatively, we get another rejection here, or reject in any of this in any of this space from where we are here. Obviously, we had all this price action. So if we do reject from in here, we cannot make uh, make it back into this channel. Well, then naturally, I would expect that we get this move down to around the nine thousands and uh, go towards this channel. If I'm honest with you, so that's really simply how I am now trading this. I'm in a I'm in a long position, uh, looking to trade it initially into the bottom of this channel um and then to see basically do we get acceptance into this channel if we do then i see no reason why we cannot push on to low low 10ks if we get rejected well naturally i'm going to be looking back down towards the monthly this is still a big support monthly is still bigger support but monthly to nine thousand, obviously the top of our bottom channel um so yeah in along at the moment and that's how i'm currently trading it so i hope that that has been helpful for you I've given you the insights to how I have traded this. Absolutely nailed these moves. Just absolute perfection. I'll end with another bit of an insight that, that another another post that I made in the group now last night. And that is this. I'll read it out to you again. So trading based on structure provides the greatest level of comfort and confidence. For there is obvious proof onto which to base a decision. The more information we have in our favor, the more comfortable we are with a trade. Unfortunately, visible information and opportunity are inversely related. The more structural information present, the less an opportunity still exists. Thus... If a trader waits for too much information, chances are good that the real opportunity has been missed. If all the evidence is present and visible, then you are far from the first to have acted on it and probably have a poor trade entry location. And then I go on to explain uh, this altcoin that I do think is now actually a good opportunity for a long. And funnily enough, this one that I was posting about yesterday went on to rise 8.5% this morning and it's still going right now. So why is this important? Why can you make notes about this? It's because you need to get in before the herd. You want to get in before average Joe recognizes this is the start of a trend. Okay, so you can kind of see here really cool, you know, but this is obviously a massive downtrend that I'm that I'm looking to buy. Um, I see the opportunity of a, of a move to the upside here where many people are scared. I'm taking the opportunity and then we got an 8.5% rise overnight. And, um, you know, that I think is crucially important. When you wait for too much confirmation, you are too late into the move. When it's really obvious long, well, guess what? smarter traders have already entered the longs and now this is where they're going to be selling okay so always think about that think about why price is moving and i'm telling you now every single pivot every single pivot has a reason why it's moving um and you know some of these pivots that i've given you have just been absolute perfection if i'm honest there but um you know hopefully you you can use this video beneficially you have to let me know do you like me doing these sort of videos where i talk about old trades or do you just prefer me to give a technical analysis of what's happening right now i personally like to teach i like to give the information uh share the knowledge but if you don't like this type of video then just give me a thumbs down i i, I don't mind just give a thumbs down to the video if you don't like this kind, kind of information being shared it's as simple as that so um yeah, that's how I have traded this. This is how I am still trading this. Ultimately, we had a really nice ranging bracket. And I guess I'll end with the fact that if you want to know in real time, okay, so if you actually want to know how I'm trading it, uh, you know, trading, giving my trades before they kind of, uh, you know, occur and happen, um, then, you know, come across chartchampions.com uh, where I do mention all the trades as well as, you know, yesterday, last night, giving a live stream explaining the short position that i was in and explaining how i will be trading bitcoin for the week to come and as you can see people absolutely loving it how can they not this was a seven percent move to the downside here obviously hitting two take profits yeah now I've, I've switched into a long uh will i switch back into a short I'll, I'll be open to switching into a short if we do reject off of this um off of this order block if i'm honest so there we go i hope that you've enjoyed this video i hope that you've seen the um the knowledge and the you know what you can take from this if you really are in the mindset of learning and wanting to move forward so uh yeah thank you everybody 
I hope that you found this one beneficial uh, because it's been very, very fun for myself anyway, making it. <laughs> so that's why I make these videos uh, to help you and also enjoyment. So yeah, thank you everybody. Uh, have a brilliant week ahead. It's only Monday. Uh, enjoy yourselves, stay safe and yeah, enjoy trading. Cheers. Bye.